Base is one of my most bullish ecosystems for this cycle, and this video I'm going to talk about the best, most high potential coins on Base. Now looking in this first area right here, we have DeFi coins. Right? These are going to be coins in the DeFi space on Base. You have Aerodrome, Synthetics, Quenta, and Extra Finance. Aerodrome obviously being the largest of the bunch, this is going to be the one that is the safest play by far. Looking at the graph of Aerodrome, you can see that right now it's sitting at $1.87. Uh, it's definitely run up a lot in the past couple of months. Um, in the past week, it went from this 137 range. Now it's consolidating at that 190, 180 range. So um, Aerodrome, I think, is definitely a great project that has already done a 10x, basically. But I still think it definitely has another 10x in the future minimum. Like I said, it's the safest play on base. Aerodrome um, basically only supports base. It's the only decentralized exchange on base. It basically has no competitors at all, um, which makes it extremely, extremely bullish. If you're bullish on base, if you're bullish on DeFi, then you should definitely be bullish on Aerodrome. Going into some of the more DeFi gems on base, the first gem we have is Synthetics. I'm actually pretty bullish on Synthetics as a whole. Um, Synthetics hasn't really had much noise this bull run yet. As you can see, it's sitting at about $3.90 right now. Its low point in the bear market was only $1.55, so it's done barely even a 2x from its all-time lows in the bear market. Um, so I believe Synthetics still has a lot more room to grow. And in the last bull run, Synthetics was actually fully solely focused on the optimism chain and now this bull run they are now transitioning into the base ecosystem from optimism uh, of course they're still keeping optimism i think they have arbitrum as well and now they have base when base came live Synthetics was one of the first chains to actually adopt base into their ecosystem and so they were basically one of the first adopters they were an early adopter of the base ecosystem and you can see from their twitter synthetics v3 live on base so synthetics has only very recently been getting involved in the base ecosystem and that can be said with a lot of other projects as well base so far is still very very new there's not a lot of products being built on it um, so synthetics being one of the first movers is definitely very bullish looking at this tweet right here you can see that synthetics is constantly plugging the fact that it is on base right um, Synthetics V3 volume on base is now over 325 million. It's getting volume on base. It's definitely getting users. I think it's going to be pretty bullish going forward. And the next DeFi project I wanted to talk about, another very low market cap project, is going to be Quinta. Now, Quinta is actually the main perpetual exchange built on Synthetics. So it's related to Synthetics. It is a front end exchange that actually uses Synthetics for liquidity. And I think that Quinta is actually one of the only competitors to Aerodrome. Now, there's not that many competitors to Aerodrome. I expect Aerodrome to basically monopolize the decentralized exchange kind of ecosystem on base, but Quinta can definitely take a little bit of that market share away. Um, looking at Quinta's Twitter, right, you can see it's also pretty active, right? Quinta allows people to trade with leverage, and you can see right here, right? Quinta partnered with Synthetics. Um, this on chain perpetual is the powerhouse of optimism and is launched on base layer two. Like I said, this is a pretty small project. Right now, its market cap is sitting very low at only 56 million, and you can see the volume is pretty low as well. Uh, the volume has actually rose a lot in the past couple of days. As you can see, looking at the monthly and the yearly chart, um, this project has definitely been consolidating for a while now. Um, could it break out? I definitely could see a breakout in the future. This is one of those projects that I don't currently hold, but I'm definitely keeping an eye out in case of a future potential entry. So the last DeFi gem I wanted to take a look at is Extra Finance. Now looking at the graph of Extra Finance, you can see that we're still experiencing pretty low volume right now, actually very low volume. The market cap uh, is actually 32 million, so a very low market cap. Um, and as you can see, we've been consolidating for the last couple of weeks. It had this massive run up from about 7 cents all the way to 27 cents, and now it's cooling off in that 16 to 15 cent range, uh, which is very good to see actually. Extra Finance allows users to do leveraged farming, lending, staking, and allows users to also bridge to base. So it's a pretty useful tool for people that are in love with DeFi. And as you can see, the total value locked is pretty good. It's, a, it's at 138 million um, and 35 million on Optimism. Now, this is definitely a project to keep your eye on. I have a small position in this project. I think it's a great project with a lot of potential. 
The only thing is it needs a lot more hype behind it, right? It needs some more marketing, it needs more and more users. If Extra Finance is able to get all of those things, then I think this project can absolutely take off. DeFi Llama is actually a very good tool for you to find some very undervalued decentralized finance um, projects. And you can see on the DeFi projects on base, right? The total value locked is currently at 1.47 billion. Uh, you can see this total value locked number has been going absolutely insane the past uh, in March. And uh, you can see, yeah, based on protocol rankings, you can see obviously Aerodrome is number one, uh, the number one DEX, right? Total value locked of 668 million. Uniswap, I wouldn't really count because it supports 16 chains. Aerodrome is just purely um, the DEX supporting base. But you can see right here, number three, extra finance, right? Leveraged farming and yielding 102 million total value locked. Um, that is a very high number for a project with very, very little hype behind it currently. Um, I think once more people find out about this project, I think it could definitely gain some traction. Uh, and that's why I'm so bullish on it. So we just covered the top DeFi projects on base, in my opinion. Now I want to look into something a little bit more fun, right? Something that I personally enjoy looking at, and that's going to be the meme coins on Base. I think base meme coins have so much potential, uh, especially Brett, right? Brett is my most bullish meme coin right now currently, uh, and I hold quite a bit of it. And you also have really great coins like Degen, uh, like Toshi, and right now we're going to get into all of these coins. So right now what you're looking at is the based Brett website. Um, as you can see, very colorful website, amazing graphics. Uh, I don't know what this dude is doing, but it's kind of creeping me out, but I kind of like it too. Um, now looking at this website, you can see Brett is Pepe's best friend on base. Um, you know, one of crypto's most significant cultural icons and the mascot of the base chain. I think that Pepe is going to do very well and it's going to bring Brett right along with it. Pepe is going to hit, you know, 20 billion, 30 billion, 40 billion dollar market cap. And that means Brett is going to hit 10 billion plus market cap as well. Um, I think the writing is on the wall for that. That's just my personal opinion, not financial advice. But looking at this website, you can see uh, you can already buy Brett on a bunch of exchanges, on a bunch of DEXs, and also some centralized exchanges as well, uh, which is really good to see. And just looking at the chart of Brett, right? Um, right now, the chart is actually looking very bullish, very, very bullish. Right now, the Bitcoin dominance is actually going up. And usually that means that a lot of your meme coins are actually uh, should be going down or should go should be going sideways. But Brett is actually one of the only meme coins that's not doing that right now. It is constantly, constantly going up. Look at this uptrend right now. Um, basically, since the inception of Brett, it keeps having corrections, of course, but it keeps pushing up. It keeps pushing up and up and up, even with all of these people taking profit. Right? There's tons of people that got into profit that got into Brett, you know, pretty early on, and they've taken profit, but still. The community is strong. The project is strong. Uh, market cap is strong right now. You know, we're still under a billion. I think this is easily going to cross 1 billion. And once it crosses 1 billion, every single meme coin that has crossed 1 billion has eventually touched that 2 to 3 billion range. So I think Brett is definitely going to hit 2 to 3 billion within the coming weeks and months. And yeah, right now we are just coiling up, right? I think we could be in for another breakout, uh, possibly to this, you know, 10 cent range, potentially. Um, we're just coiling up. We're just waiting for another price swing. So yeah, Brett is definitely my most bullish project. I've made two videos on Brett so far. So if you want to learn more about the project, please check those videos out. Now, the next coin I want to get into is Degen. Now, I know this might not be like a full meme coin, but um, it's basically like an ERC-20 token uh, that actually has a lot of utility to it. But I kind of categorized it into this meme section because of just the name itself, honestly. But you can see that, um, yeah, Degen turning content into currency. Don't really know exactly what that means. I haven't done a ton of research into this project, to be honest with you. But uh, you can see that it has a lot of utility. It has airdrops, right? One, two. I think they have three total airdrops. Um, their tokenomics are looking pretty good, right? They have uh, a lot of their tokens dedicated to airdrops. They have some tokens dedicated to liquidity mining, uh, of course, the liquidity pool and ecosystem. I'm guessing that's probably marketing and uh, getting their coins listed on exchanges and whatnot. Um, so yeah, you can see that this project is pretty fleshed out. I think this project definitely has a lot of potential going forward. That's why I picked up some Degen pretty recently. Um, as you can see, we've come down from these all-time highs of about six and a half cents. Uh, so now we're consolidating in that 
three and a half cent range. Um, so basically like a 50% drop. I would say that's a pretty good place to start picking up some Dijon if you don't have any already. Um, you can see a market cap of 400 million, uh, pretty good volume, right? This volume is actually higher than um, Brett. So arguably you can argue that Dijon is a better coin than Brett because it has more volume. I still think Brett is the better coin, but um, you know, why not have both? I think Dijon is going to do very well, guys. We're actually consolidating very nicely at this three cent zone. Um, so that's why I kind of picked some up. Uh, not financial advice, but if you really want to get into Dijon, now is probably a pretty good time. And the last project I want to talk about is Toshi. So this, uh, they claim, is the face of base. Um, I believe they were actually the first meme coin on base, so that kind of makes sense that they're uh, branding themselves as the ba the face of base. Um, and yeah, you can see, you know, this this little dude is blue, uh, blue for base. You see all of this info. Uh, I'm not going to read to you, but just know that this was the first meme coin on base, uh, I believe. And it's currently, I think, the third largest meme coin on base. And if you want exposure to the base ecosystem, you should pick up the top meme coins of that ecosystem as well, right? So um, that's why I'm picking up the top three coins, top three meme coins on base being Brett, my largest position, and then Dijin and Toshi for some smaller moonshot positions as well. Um, you can see Toshi, right? Toshi's actually doing performing the best out of all three of these in the past seven days. That's probably due to its lower market cap, right? It's only at a 600 or sorry, $268 million market cap. So uh, it's basically three times as small as Brett. So um, it definitely has a lot of potential, guys. I think all three of these tokens have a lot of potential. Of course, there's a lot more meme coins on base and these meme coins could give you larger percentage gains, um, but they also run the risk of potentially rugging, right? They run the risk of potentially dropping a lot more in value, a lot more quickly in value. Um, but yeah, I would say, I mean, meme coins in general, they're high risk, high reward play, but I do have a lot of confidence in Brett in particular. Um, out of all three of these meme coins, if you were to only get one meme coin, I would say Brett is probably going to be your best bet. So yeah, those are all the coins that I'm going to cover in today's video. You have your four DeFi coins and your three meme coins on base. I think base has so much potential. With the new Coinbase smart wallet coming out very soon, I think it's uh, already came out actually, potentially. Uh, I'll have to double check that. But that's going to bring so many more users onto base and you know they're going to push their base coins like crazy right so something like brett right uh, i think it's already actually being pushed on coinbase wallet if you're familiar with coinbase wallet you know that there's a swap feature and brett is featured on the top swaps on coinbase wallet so uh, you can see coinbase wants to push these coins base is going to continue to be bullish continue to get more and more users and therefore according to my thesis these coins are going to continue to go up that's it for the video Please leave a like if you enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.